Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Foundation where we are going to crack on with, um, uh, like I say, a second little beginning of a village down here I think, so that we can eventually turn this into really much more of a main square um, with little satellite villages. That's going to be the plan. Um, a couple of things from the last episode though, somebody quite rightly pointed out that this, this fence actually is the wrong way around because um, this stone bit here is where they would stand to peek through the wood, which is, you're right. Um, you are completely right, so control, left click, we'll get rid of it, there we go. So we'll redo this from there, there we go. Uh, ah, here we go, what do you want? Clergy we want to help, isn't it? 20, f oh, fish, can't do it. We just can't do it. <coughs> That is because we don't have anywhere to fish in the game. It just cannot be done. Uh, oh, see, we're the wrong way around here, look. A villager is leaving due to unhappiness. Oh. That's interesting. Okay, there's those walls fixed. We will do more with those later on. Uh, can we see who it is? No, we're going to have to cancel that uh, because unless maybe we could buy fish. Can we come in here and maybe buy fish? They're all pretty full. One new building unlocked. Oh, what was unlocked? Uh, nothing there. Stone bridge was it maybe? I think maybe the stone bridge was unlocked. Okay, that doesn't really help us. Um, right, hold on. Let's just slow down a bit. Can we? Can we set up one of these warehouses here? There's only four timber in that, right? So refuse that. Empty stock. No empty stock. I said. And change it instead to fish. Accept fish. And then here we can come to trade and buy fish. And we need 20 of it. There we go. Now apparently there's a way of <clears throat> coming in here, stock. We said there was a way of making it so that nobody ate it. That stuff. Anyone without a job? There's a couple of people without a job, so you can well, fill your gaps in a moment. So look here. Uh, small treasury. You can now have a, a guard. And, uh, oh, these wheat farms are actually probably better, aren't they? There we go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's apparently there's a way of, of sort of stopping stuff get used toggle resource panel here we go stockpile and that means that they won't use them basically so in 55 days we hope that a dealer comes along a dealer a trader of some description comes along with fish wants to sell 10 fish so we'll take said 10 fish off him and hold them and if we can get another one of those in 55 days we can turn that in and we can get some clergy points because we need these um, here we need this uh, we've got low influence at the moment we need to up our influence a little so we can eventually build our church that's, that's the plan but yeah second church is definitely definitely needed so we're gonna come and bring it over here um, Build buildings, uh, rustic church. Here we go. So we need the core in, which is fine. This time, I think we did it sort of end on last time, didn't we? Mm, we did a couple of cores actually. Okay, so I'm thinking we kind of make this one a little bigger. So let's go there. Yeah. Can we only do one core? Oh no, there we go. I'd like it there. That's I know where I want it. Yeah. 
and then another one off the back of it. I guess we could turn off the uh, toggling T. Toggling T. I think it's sort of sitting in there, really. Yeah, okay, happy with that. Um, wooden extension. We'll probably snap these to the front, can we? Oh, now that's like a, a coal sheddy type bit. We could put that. Put that there as like a coal thingy. Uh, door. Oh, here we go. Door. No, it was the big one. There we go. That's what we want on the front here. But not toggle because I'm going to make a new middle point there. Another lot. Okay, that's the front. And then we need a big old tower. Uh, let's go for the stony one. I think I prefer. And then we'll knock it up. Yeah, there we go. Pretty, pretty simple, but... Let me put a couple of them on the sides. Just to kind of give a little bit of uh, different texture. Yeah. 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 Maybe a, maybe a door on the... Uh, on the back of the tower there as well. Perfect. Okay, so we need a lot of wood, a lot of planks, a lot of stone, sorry, a lot of planks. Do you know what? That shouldn't be a... Uh, that shouldn't take too long, I don't think. And that's pretty much all they've got to work on there as well. So let's speed the time up. That should, in turn, provide uh, a nice bit of... Uh, what's the word? Uh, religion bonus, I guess. Let's check the painting. We need to... Okay, we can remove all this from extraction now. And all of this will eventually become residential. Give them a lot of room to grow. Like so. Uh, also, somebody, yeah, I was looking for berries and I was like, there's no more berries. And everyone was like, oh, there's berries right in front of you. Um, oh, yeah, look. There's loads of berries right in front of me. Good. Okay, well, let's get a couple of berries, berry, berry, berry berries down. Gathering hut, and these can just get filled up with uh, with staff as we uh, as we grow. There we go. Okay, so that should solve our churchy problem. Did we have how many fish do we have here now? We best be stockpiling it. We still just have that ten fish, so we're still on waiting for. Another trader. There's one. Come here. Uh, oh, and he's got ten fish as well. So, when we buy them fish off him, which we should do pretty quickly. Where's he going? Oh, he's up there first. Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. There we go. We can do that. Yeah, there we go. So, we've got some clergy points. Clergy points. So I'm going to spend, actually, Rustic Church additional parts. Let's see if any of that makes a difference to what we're doing here. Uh, uh, oh, we can't do it until it's finished now. Okay, well, never mind. So that's fine. We can, might be coming out on some parts. It's going up pretty quick, which I like. And we'll build a second little market around here as well, I think. Um, and a well. We need a well. Water is key for survival. We'll put one right in the middle of the residential area there. Oh. Oh, we don't have the gold. <gasps> oh my god, we're massively in debt. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, first things first. Let's, uh, we can turn this back into whatever it was. Planks. Stockpile. Um, then we can come in here and uh, we already automatically unstockpiled fish. We don't have any fish, so yeah. Uh, all right. So, is there anything that we're not selling that we can start selling? Let's have a look. 
Uh, well, I'm not interested in selling wood. We can sell that. Sell any above the value of 40 is fine because we're never quite getting up to 40. Uh, stone, sell above the value of 50. That's good. Planks above the 30. Tools above 30. That's all okay. Bread. I'm not really looking to sell bread at the minute. We never really have any in stock. I suppose maybe we'll set it to 20 in the future. But right now, we haven't really got any excess of it, I don't think. See, we've got wine. Some wine we can sell. Sell. We'll just keep a stockpile of like 20 wine. Because we get loads of wine off quests and stuff. T-shirts we can sell. Yeah, we're, we're selling them but nobody's really wanting them. Um, yeah, flour and wheat. We don't really have a massive stockpile of either of those. It's mostly wine. Wool and cloth uh, we seem to have an excess of. So let's... Let's just hold, twen let's just hold the 20 of those in stock. Okay. Hopefully that gives the traders a bit more options. We're back in the green. There we go. We do. We make money. The problem was I think we just spent a fortune on that well then. Uh, on that um, church. Which is not good. There we go. An envoy. These are always good. What do you want? We get a thousand gold, some wine, and a free territory, and loads of... Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? I mean, to be honest with you, there's very little reason not to do it. I haven't noticed any of them not come back yet. Or anything like that. Or I don't feel like we're weaker for not having uh, not having people here. Let's see where it doesn't have workers. We don't. We didn't have a tailor assigned. Is that who left? I don't have a shepherd assigned either, my word. Uh, you're losing your job, mate, sorry, because we need a shepherd. Hmm. Definitely a couple of people cleared off. But they should be pretty happy, I suppose, with this shit. Look at that, look at that. Not quite there yet. <clears throat> need a couple more tools. Hmm. Definitely think we've, uh, we've done a better job of that this time, though. Because let's be honest, look at that. Compared to this thing, it's a higgledy piggledy. Yeah, that's definitely going to need to do a, a bit of a remake on that one. And eventually, I'll get this next territory here, which I won't just yet because they're quite expensive to keep territories, and we're not really using much of them. We've got this one here purely for forestry. Teeny villagers joined. Good. I'll give you a job in a minute. Uh, residential. See, all this, they have classed all this as residential, but. Let me go. The church is complete. There we go. They can have 75. There we go. So let's have a look. People need. A uh, few lacking church, few lacking food. We really need to up our food con uh, content, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's um, let's uh, let's think about this. Then we want to get some more. I want to get another. I think I need to get another wheat field in somewhere. I think maybe we need to open this territory. I know I just said just said that I didn't want to do any more territories for now, but I think we might have to. It'll add fifty to the taxes. Yeah. Okay. We'll manage that. And that one, that one had 50. Okay, there, there, that's it. That's it. Let's build another wheat farm. You can get one in here without clearing much of these trees out. Uh, let's help the clergy. What do you want? Five bread. I mean, we're very close to having... Oh, there we go. We can do it. Ah, they need to be they need to be in the stop pile, don't they? Which one did we have stop pile in? Stop maximum here, stockpile bread. As soon as we get five over there, we can finish that. Turn it back off again. Get him over here, please. Come on. Stop using him. Stop being naughty. Stop eating the bread. It's gotta to go to the church.
Come on, shift something out. They've, it's all gone from there now. Oh, we'll just wait for that to light up a little. Okay, so really what, what we need to do regarding extraction is to kind of take all this off. I mean, we're not using those berries just yet, but I will... Yeah, I will re-add the, the, uh, the foraging spot and that one there as well. There you go. Uh, but then otherwise, I want to take away all of you. All of this. All of this. Okay. Right, actually, no, not that bit. Like, you, you actually can be the bit we forage there. But not necessarily that bit there. Quite like um, a little row of few trees there. So you can forage all of that, and you can forage all of this. That's it. And then once they're clean, we'll sort out our farms properly. Two more leaving unhappiness. My word. <clears throat> so we've got the church sorted. It's just a little bit of food now. So, we've got some people joining, I guess, I guess we just start adding them to the berries. Now we can do that. We can unstockpile the breads. There we go. So you've got bread. So you've got, we're basically living off bread and berries, because those sheep are exclusively for wool. If I'm right. That's a lumber camp there. They're going to have to go a fair old way to cut any lumber down, unfortunately. But they can come this way to get these bits of trees here. But we definitely need to start to open up these uh, the wheat fields here. Although, if that's all you're managing from one wheat field, we could probably do another one here. I think we could get away with another one there. Look, because none of this is being touched, look. So we get one of them there, and we can have a second wheat farm there, and just get some wheat. A uh, new building on lots, what was that then? Was it actually a, a new building? Oh sorry, he swallowed the microphone. Uh, was it actually a new building, or was it just that, uh, just that this new building is sent us that somewhere's upgraded? I don't think we unlocked anything there. No. How about down here? Are people getting their uh, faith? No, not much. Look, because they go. The problem is they go to this one first. I think. What we really need to do is build a bigger church here, and move people down here. But that church, what has it given us? As far as oh, we're nineteen. Look, we're a little bit off. We need to. We need to up our game a little. We need to. I tell you what. Let's have a look at those new bits we can add on. Um. Oh yeah, look. Oh, look. We can add gravestones. Oh my goodness. Let's get a gravestone in the back here. A graveyard even. Yeah. Oh, I'm all about this. And wooden crosses. Yes. Bit more realism. See if that does much to our uh, our level of uh, of whatever. What's I can't remember what they're called. Splendor. There we go. Because if we get that splendor up to twenty, we can unlock the church, and then we can rebuild our main church here. You see, that's that, that's that's the plan. That's what I that's what I really wanted to get done this episode. So let's see if this little bit of uh, of detail is enough to just bump our splendor up to twenty. Okay, so the uh, the gravestones didn't do it, <laughs> but um, I kind of goosed the system a little bit, and I've hidden a couple of buildings inside there, just because it seems like it's the major buildings that are actually up in the numbers, so that's fine. We can now unlock church and a small stone wall, so we might as well do both of those. Um, I, uh, God would appreciate it <laughs> if we were to build a monument in his slender. Okay. You have a new request, build a church. Yes, well, we're going to do that, aren't we? So what we're going to do now is we're going to pump on the brakes... 
Uh, we're going to delete this building. There we go. Oh. 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 No, we can still do it. Okay, right. God, I was going to say that's that's could really goose us. But the unlockables become re-unlocked, but that's fine. Um, we need to get rid of a few things. Actually, we need to get rid of that. We need to clear clear this area out basically, because this is going to be a complete redesign of the uh, of the space here. There we go. There we go. Uh, that will be a fence as well. And I'm tempted to move the stone masonry out of the village as well. I'm pretty much just covering the stones up with a church. Let's see if we've got any stone masonry. There's some at the top there. And there's some, I think, down here. Yeah, so let's do that as well then. So let's build um, stone cutter camp here. T treat that uh, to be more of an exterior building. Uh Okay, and then there's, that's a stone hut, isn't it? So yeah, that could probably come out of the village as well. Five stone cutters there. Okay, let's... Uh, so stone cutter, stone mason. There we go, let's see the one. This also gets, us, gets rid of that one tree for us. Okay. Well, they're getting done then. Let's start planning out this church. It's going to be... It's going to be an expensive one, I think, this, but I think it'll do us well in the long run. So, church. Our core church is a much larger proposition than I th thought it would be. Actually, no, no, sorry. A smaller proposition than I thought it was really what I mean to say. But I feel like... Uh, I feel like two of them. Oh, that could work. It's like a tiered thing. That's that looks pretty neat. Okay, all right. Let's work with that. Um, extensions are mighty fine. Let's get one of those on the back there. Well, oh, it's going to clip a little, isn't it? Can we. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm liking that. Extension B. It's like a... Oh, 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 yeah, I like that as well. Let's get one of them on there. Yes, that's looking good. I want this to be really sort of grand, you know. A round tower. Nice. Let's have... Let's turn T off for one of you. And let's sink you in here. Get you raised up. Oh, yeah, look at this. That's looking pretty good. Small, are you small tower? Oh, you're a bell tower. Nice. Okay, so what's big tower then? Ah. Ooh, see now I'm thinking actually that round tower probably isn't isn't the more, most suitable one. But I do really like this one. Let's turn tabbing off and see where it gets, where it puts us. Uh, oh. Is that lost? A bit more central, anyway. Okay. Um, I like the little bell tower, though. You know. You can't raise things up off the ground, though, right? So if you want this to be high up. Oh no, I suppose the idea is that you that you drag it up, don't you? Okay, let's try that then. Uh, let's put on the side here. It's, you do that sort of thing with it, don't you? Hmm, doesn't look very good though, does it? But now we've raised it up, we can get away with doing something like this. Yeah, that's more like it. Uh, I realise that stuff's coming in and people are coming in and stuff, but I really want to get this done, so... Put you there. Yes! Yes, yes. Arch. What's that? <gasps> Look! What else we got? Hold on, let's figure this out now. Door. 
No staffing for this door. Oh. Door. Um, arch. I'm going to hope that can get raised. Yes. Nice. To be the front of the building there. There we go. Gargoyle? Oh, wow. Yes. So. Get that bad boy on the front there. One around the back, maybe. Quite tricky to find a spot for him, innit? Hmm. And stained glass. Wow. Oh, that's just like a nice bit of stained glass, isn't it? Uh, that would be perfect there. If it only was a way, we could raise it up. Oh! There's, there are some tab points, but... Doesn't seem like we can squeeze that in. That's a shame. But otherwise, that's a pretty epic-looking church. Maybe... Maybe a couple of... One more extensions to really just make it pop. I don't know. Um, round. No, not round tower. The other extension. Yeah, this one, this one, this one, this one. Can we get away with just something like that in there? Uh, it's going to sort of clip through the wall, isn't it? Let's untab. There we go. And do it that way. Yes. Yes. That's what we want to do. And we want that on the other side as well. Yes, we can. Oh, height's a little off there, but not really much we can do about that. That's it. Perfect. I'm going to say go for it. That is going to cost us a small fortune, but my word, is it going to be worth it when it's done? I'm going to leave it running because I want to, I want to show you the finished article. So we'll come back when our mighty church has finished. Oh my word. Hello. Church finished and everything happened. Hello. Good. Right. Well, let's see. <laughs> uh, it only takes 50 odd people in there. That doesn't seem that many, but I thought the number would be larger. But anyway, it looks good. Looks gorgeous, in fact. Very happy with how it's turned out. Yeah, look at that bad boy. Really sort of sits majestic. So, that's given us loads of splendor, which means I think we can do a monastery. So, let's unlock the monastery while we can. Herb garden, apiary. Yeah, coming soon. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, monastery is the next thing to work towards. We're gonna. It's very much all grandiose here. Uh, Hunter's hut, uh, wooden keep. Weaponsmith, we need to up our uh, splendor there. So, uh, what he see, the problem is here is the Lord's Manor. I don't know how to upgrade our labor splendor because the, obviously, church clergy splendor is just build more churches. We've got loads of it now. Uh, kingdom splendor seems to be uh, things like the fort here. Uh, here, look, adds adds four splendor there with for, to the kingdom. Um, so another couple of those around would be pretty good. But then the labour one, I can only, is it just that, is it? Yeah, look, there, labour splendour. So I think we need to build, like, a monumental Lord's Manor to really up that number because there's nothing else we can build, I don't think, that really increases that number. Lord's Manor, look there, adds to the splendour. Uh, yeah, it is just Lord's Manor is the only one that does it, I don't think. Any of these base level ones do it. Right, so. Uh, next episode then. What I, I also, I've started to branch out here a little bit. Curve these, put this lovely path around a little bit. Open this up to some more residential. And this knit area is nearly cleared now for some more um, f uh, farming as well. So we can really boost those numbers up. Uh, I think other than that, we're doing pretty well. We're a little low on t-shirts. So maybe another, another um, sheep setup. 
heading this way would be pretty good because like I said, this is going to start being our first little suburb. What I really want to do, look, is open this piece up here through territory. I might as well do it. We can manage. We've got the money, right? And have a huge path that comes up here to a monastery on the hill. Now, whether or not we can work that or not, I don't know because it is quite a steep hill. But I think a monastery up on the hill would look so good. Um, monastery. Abbey. Oh my god, this thing is going to be huge. And probably multiple buildings as well. But how... My god, look at all this. Unnamed parts. There's unnamed parts. Decorative bushes. Oh, this is... <gasps> look. Oh yeah, I'm thinking a huge monastery up on this hill. Would look so good. We can even do it in brown, blue, or purple. Dorms. Oh, I'm so very excited. Yeah, yeah. Chimney on the side. An apiary. So make honey. But does that actually produce honey? That'd be cool. Gives us another food source. But yeah, monastery on the hill, I think. At least beginning with, because it's, I think it's going to be quite a fine task. But I think to start with, that is going to be next up. But our churches are done. Um, any tips on how to up this number then? Uh, the uh, the labour splendour, other than building a, a, a posthumous sort of massive uh, Lord's Manor. Um, answers on a postcard. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help at the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop down in the comments. That's your chat. You can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekers and community, you can do so over on our Geekers and Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.